take it. Can't say no to double dashes. We do have four points. Let's throw two, four, and the XP. Probably should have tried to max that out, like, ASAP. Trying to max, um, the damage out. Or not the damage, the XP, but that's okay. We do get increased damage the more... How does that work? Increased damage per gold you own, plus 11%. So it's plus 1%. So you can get an increase of 100% damage. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodis here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all have been enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. Also, if you guys aren't in the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. I was thinking of doing another half grim or hell grim. Yeah, half grim run. Um, I mean, literally everybody we need is expert mode. And I really want to get an expert mode win so i think we're gonna run half grim try it on midgard once again but on expert mode and hopefully we can get our first golden noki which will be pretty sweet <clears throat> i'm either gonna go don't get me wrong lightning was amazing in the last run <clears throat> but i'm trying to think if we do a <clears throat> if we do a Fire or a freezing run, frozen run. I mean, it is. We are talking about uh, what you might call it here, the uh, expert mode. So, ah, man, dude, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we do just do um, frozen. Um, Q. Yeah, I'll do that one. Really want projectiles. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I still think we need to max out our <clears throat> our staff because our staff maxed out is still pretty dang good. So I think we still max out the staff, which is something that we still need to do. <clears throat> okay. Um. So let's get this going. <clears throat> damage cooldown, yeah. Damage cooldown, yeah. Projectiles damage, yeah. Cool down, okay. Um, and then we'll do R here. <clears throat> I mean, let's do the damage first, and then the next one we'll <clears throat> throw it into um, the. Uh, we'll throw it into the total freeze, which will be freaking huge. Okay. Oh, totally was not. Like, I saw the crow, but it just did not register in my mind. Like, hey, we probably shouldn't walk toward it, and I just walked right at it anyways. Ooh, this is this is okay. This isn't the best. I mean, it throws it down, distracts them, yeah. Um, not super, super good, but it's still, like, half decent. So not, not terrible. Not terrible. Um, <clears throat> Trump the gold mine. Check it. Cool, and then we got, um, looks like a couple more altars here that we need to go to. Okay, we'll come up to this one, I guess. What we got here? Um, adds one empty red heart container. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> why not? We definitely need it. Definitely need it, that's for sure. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's continue to get this guy going. I want as many projectiles as possible. Like, as possible. Um... I mean, XP. <clears throat> Probably should pick up XP. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Area... Area can be good. But I think I want projectiles more. Like, area could be good because it opens up, uh, like, the the path will be wider. But I definitely want more projectiles with it. Like, I want as many of the, um... Hey, man, we are so close. I want as many of the, um... <clears throat> trails as we could possibly get. Like, if we can get, like, 40 ice trials, that'd be insane. Cool, so we got an empty red heart. Um, let's head over toward... There's two that we can go to. The one down here. 
And then the one just off to the east there, the southeast now, that we can go for. So there's this one. Adds two blue hearts. I mean, that's not terrible. But they're not permanent. Two, two red hearts would be huge. Okay. Um, we got nine points. Let's throw them into some stuff here. Projectiles, yeah. Damage. Oh, cooldown on projectiles is massive. Definitely would want more projectiles here. But that's not going to happen, it looks like. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Good amount of XP there. Got another chest. Please give us, like, projectiles. Ooh, experience I'll take. I mean, cooldown could be pretty huge, but 60 up to 70, uh... XP is pretty, pretty big. I, I at least think it's pretty big. Because you get a good chunk of XP off of that, so... Not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, let's get all this going. Should be able to wipe it out here in a second, and we'll get two extra blue hearts. Sweet, got two extra blue hearts. So now let's come down here and sacrifice probably one. Okay, we just sacrificed one there. The problem with this guy, though, is that we cannot get hit because of how how little amount of hearts he has. I don't remember what the cheese is, but hopefully it's going to be worth our while. Um, full, one full red heart container. Yeah, I'll take that. Even though we just lost a bunch of blue hearts there. That is A-OK. -okay. okay, let's get movement speed and then make our way over to the damage. Oh, we do have the, the healer. We do have the, heal, the, the heart heal down here that we could use, potentially. This one. Okay, I probably should have saved it till we got like more red hearts, but the thing with this is like we're on expert and it feels like we're playing a hard run, which is I, I think is really good. Because I don't feel like we're struggling too much with this yet. Yet. So I feel pretty good about this. Um totally almost walked into that bird. Not giving a care in the world. I mean we have a ton of health potions over there. I feel pretty good about that. I mean, we have six points that we could use. And now... Okay. So let's come back in here. This one's a huge one. 17 projectiles. This one I really want to get projectiles on. Like, I really want to get projectiles on, on the Frozen one. If we're going if we're going ham with Frozen, I want, I want projectiles on it. I mean, we could just risk it for the biscuit and just do double on uh, the staff, but we already know the staff is pretty good. Staff's pretty good, and lightning is super insane. Although, we didn't get double lightning in the last run, so there will be a another lightning run at some point. There will be another lightning run. That's for sure. That is for sure. Um, but right now, I do want to do a double ice run, I think. To see how that goes. And hopefully hopefully we can get the win with it. That'd be pretty sweet. There's a ton of XP around. Okay. Like, I really want the XP, but I also wouldn't mind getting uh, more meta progression. I mean, we are at 30, but the first run, we were already up to, like, 80 at this point when we did an expert run with Helga, I believe. So... Okay, we should probably get a couple levels off of these two as well. Okay. Okay, well, we got a chest. Projectiles! Area, more projectiles, baby. Could boost the damage up to 63, but... More projectiles is so good. I mean, it was insane when we had damage up to, like, 50% or whatever, so it was, like, 83 damage per... per blast, which was absolutely insane. Okay, so we got a bunch of points here. Let's use them. So, I really want projectiles. I mean, I'll, I can't turn down damage and cooldown. But I really want projectiles there. Okay. Ooh, projectiles and duration. I think I want projectiles and damage if possible. I probably should have also dumped points into XP and tried to max XP out. That's probably what I really should have done. Okay, we're not shredding through this boss. Eh, I mean, we're doing a good chunk of damage, actually. More than I anticipated. 
That's for sure. Okay. Bunch of XP around here. Okay, we sh we actually shredded that. We shredded that guy pretty quick. A lot quicker than I than I anticipated. So let's see. A plus five gold increased damage per gold you own. <clears throat> that could be good because we cap out gold at 99. Movement speed plus 20. Yes. Um, grants a blue heart. It breaks when being hit. Yeah, I'll take an extra blue heart. <clears throat> and then draws XP near you. We'll take that as well. Sweet. Um, oh, we definitely cannot forget this. Um, and we'll, we will throw it into this guy to perma, perma freeze. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I really want, I mean, cooldown's pretty good too, but I really want, yeah, damage from 33 up to 58 min. Like, that's a pretty big damage boost. Projectile speed would be huge to boost and same with XP as well. Um, we probably also should do status duration as well. I mean, well, if we freeze them, they're permanently frozen. So, I mean, <clears throat> getting more isn't going to matter. Because we we we, we perma freeze them, so getting duration is not going to matter much unless we get like a burning um, burning monolith as well. <clears throat> like not, all that's not all that's not going to matter. So I do like that we're one shotting everything now. That feels very uh, very nice. Let's run over here to this guy. Yeah, see like this one. This one's burn damage. Increases fire damage and causes random enemies to burst into flames and burn. I mean, I'm gonna take it because we need everything that we possibly get to win in this uh, in this mode. So like, I'm I'm gonna take it regardless of <clears throat> regardless of if we can kill them or not. Like, we don't have fire damage, but I'm gonna take it. Like, it gives us fire damage, so might as well. Might as well. We're already down to 167. This isn't too bad. I just feel like we're not getting a lot of XP drops, which is a little weird. Okay. Does it... Okay, so the bosses are immune to it, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I figured as much. I mean, it's still sort of a bummer, though. I mean, we shred the... We shredded the, uh, the wolves pretty quick. See, how do we do on this one? Cooldown up 5%, movement speed up 5, area up 10. I'm, I'm going to take area on this one. That should boost the area of, <clears throat> I would assume, like the um, the width of the ice paths is what I'm assuming. What would uh, increase, but I don't know. If this grants an additional dash, I'll totally take, even though we don't dash a whole lot. I'll definitely take it. Can't say no to double dashes. We do have four points. Let's throw two, four, and an XP. Probably should have tried to max that out, like, ASAP. Trying to max, um, the damage out. Or not the damage, the XP, but that's okay. We do get increased damage the more... How does that work? Increased damage per gold you own. Plus 11%. So it's plus 1%. So you can get an increase of 100% damage if we have 99... Well, I guess 99% damage. If we get 99 gold um, balloons. But also, if you get the upgrade that has... <clears throat> if you get the upgrade of um, the... Where you can hold 250, that could be an increase of 250%. That could be insane. That could be an insane amount of gold. Or an insane amount of damage. Because, like, especially on runs like this, like, we, we cap out on gold, I feel like, pretty pretty frequently. Okay. So the birds are immune to being frozen, which is a little bit of a bummer. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it's still like, man, dude, that sort of sucks. Okay. Alright. So we're looking good. I mean, the damage... Like, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. But I definitely feel like we're sort of starting to get, like, over overwhelmed with stuff. 
Even though we're doing pretty good. Um. See, no, I don't think these two are worth it. Or is burn damage? Maybe we go into area then. <laughs> I mean, if we have to, we could go into lightning, and lightning, lightning will easily like, like I guess any spare points we have, we can we can go lightning route. Um, and then like the next run that we do on uh, half half grim, we'll just run uh, fire. Or we can do the double lightning run. <clears throat> Whatever you guys want, like. You guys can let me know down below if there's a certain build that you guys want me to run or whatever. And uh, I can try and do that. But we'll see. We'll see. We're doing good so far. Um, ooh, I don't like that there's two birds here. We haven't gotten hit yet. Like, we still have quite a bit of blue hearts. Okay. Basically, if we can get a lot of the uh, ice trails to hit like one way like we do a good chunk of damage like this we could increase area again but, or we could increase damage i think i want to increase damage i definitely want to do more damage so we're doing up to 103 now which is pretty good increase i would say okay do that there, there's like a ton of xp around here Definitely want to try and pick all this up. So there's a good amount here. And I'd rather stay around uh, the damage monolith as well. Okay. Yeah, like we're doing we're doing pretty good. I'm not I'm not really too too worried at the moment. And we're getting a ton of chests now. So cooldown damage. Cooldown damage. I think damage. Damage is the way to go here. Okay. Like, there is so much XP around. Like, this is insane. Like, we got 20 points right now. I mean, we do have the ring. So, I'll pop the ring before we get to the boss. Or, I guess, during the boss. Okay, we got 30 points. Let's throw it into projectile speed. Let's get the boss. Or get this. We'll throw it into area. We got 9 points. Throw it into duration and go fireball. Some fireballs that orbit around you, the larger they are, the larger the radius of the orbit. I think I'm gonna go lightning. Ooh, but we have these ones we can go to. Free status now effect has 25% chance of applying burning. Ooh, okay, so let's go this. This route. And then it converts 25% of your cooldown to damage, plus 2% for 10.5 seconds. Increase all relics that have magic, that are magic tools. Five damage. Okay. Um, so this one, I guess, would increase it to 15. Um... And that's really it? Plus 9 damage to fire? Okay. I mean, we don't have really any of those relics either. Oh, magic tools would be down here, I think, actually. So, I mean, going this side is pointless right now. I mean, increasing burn damage, maybe, since we have this. 50% chance to apply burn damage. But maybe we go lightning bolts. Yeah. Because we know how light, how good lightning bolts were in the last freaking run. Oh, we do freeze this boss, though. We do freeze this boss. The lightning bolts were so good in the last run. And we do freeze this boss, it looks like. It does look like we freeze him. Which I guess is pretty good. Maybe I should have saved... Our ring, because like we got a ton of... Got a ton of stuff going on here. I mean, also with gold, gold-wise, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, whatever we get with gold, um, like, in the next run, like, if we can cap out gold at 99, that'd be pretty huge. 
Because if we can cap gold out, like, that would basically, like, no matter how much gold we spend this run, like, if we cap gold out, like, that'll be, that'll just be super huge, um, for us. Um, because, like, we're up to 48%, this will bump us up to 56%, but, or 57, I guess, and because, basically, we, we're up to 57% damage, and whatever stuff, like, it, we have increased, like, we're gonna max, we're gonna cap out on gold in the next, uh, run. So we'll grab this, we'll grab this, we'll grab this. Shoots arrows, sure. So that's the relic it's talking about. Restores all red hearts, instant use. I mean, we're already at max hearts. Um, and then draws XP near you, I'll totally take. We got 10 points. Um, so with this, we could increase burn damage. And we, like, that'd be crazy. We could go, we could go lightning or we could just do this now freeze paralyze or burn each magic projectile that impacts an enemy divides into three smaller ones let's do try attack on on this one then let's go all in on burn damage okay <clears throat> And we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. I mean, having that one where we do all burn damage is pretty, actually pretty big. Like, cause that's our like regular attacks that come from our staff. So that could be pretty huge. That could actually be pretty big. Okay, we do have this guy down here that costs gold. So we'll see what we exactly need for this. We could upgrade arrows as well. I think, I think the bow would be super huge to get um, on um, Thyra. And then just run like a full-on arrow build with like her bow and then also that one. Ooh. When paralyzing, you also deal zero damage. I mean, we don't paralyze with the build that we have, but our magic attacks have a chance to paralyze. So I'm going to take that because we do have a chance to paralyze, technically. So I will take that on the off chance that we can paralyze. Now we need to get a lot of gold back. Like, lots of gold. Okay. See, ice damage is okay, but it doesn't seem that... It doesn't seem that good. Like, it doesn't seem super crazy. Like, don't get me wrong, it is totally wiping out, like, all the ads, like... But it's it's not shredding the boss as quickly as, like, as I would like. I would really like it to shred the bosses a lot quicker. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Like, we're still doing pretty dang good. Still doing pretty good. Yeah, see, it's paralyzing all those, all the birds. Like, look at all the paralyzing. Like, that's insane. Like, we're paralyzing and burning a ton. Pop that. That's a lot burning. Or being poisoned, so that's huge. Okay, we killed that guy pretty quick. This one, I mean, if we can get all of our, like, balls, or our magic, <laughs> all of our balls, if we can get all the magic strikes to hit one, basically one target, like, we, we, we melt it pretty quick. And there is so much XP on the ground. Holy smokes, dude. We're already back at the 10 points. We could easily probably max out lightning shot. Or the lightning, um one as well like if I wanted to secure a win oh we have another ring if I wanted to easily secure the win I would totally take um I would totally I would totally take um lightning with double um I would totally take lightning with double um Double ascend, like ascend it both times. Um, I totally want more projectiles. That'd be crazy. So I did walk through the poison trial there, if you guys saw, and I did take some damage. Just gotta be careful on that. I just gotta be careful when I fight the boss because the boss, the boss will destroy us because it, it does one point five 
one and a half hearts of damage per hit. So I gotta be super careful on that. You know what, we got 28 points, let's max out this bad boy. A little bit of bounce in there. Still got six points. Could do. We don't have a lot of cooldown though. Status duration could be huge if we max this out. We still have time to get like duration if we really want to. Okay, so lightning should be doing work now. More projectiles or bounces could be huge. Eh, I better get this one. More projectiles on the uh, on the lightning could be insane. Okay. I was trying to hunt around to try to get more gold. Because we are going to go fight the boss here. In just a second. So I'll get this. I'll try and run over here and then make it to the mine. But I don't think that's going to happen. Make it to the mine. I don't think so. Dang. Didn't make it to the mine. But we got a uh, bunch more points. 17 points, I think. So we'll max this out. Maybe I'll go this. Okay. And then dump into duration, maybe? Here we go, baby, here we go! Expert mode with Halfgrim. Is he gonna be the first one that gives us our golden Noki? We will see. We shall see. Okay. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Okay. It's down to a quarter. So yeah, we do zero damage to him with this. It's probably gonna last forever. We are killing all the adds pretty quick, so I'm not too worried about that. I do wanna try and stay kind of close to him. The staying kind of close to him means that all of our uh, ooh, 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 all of our lightning shots will basically hit him, or all of our magic shots will hit him. Okay, he's down to less than half. Dude, I think we're gonna do it. I think he's gonna be our uh, first uh, golden Noki. Okay. It's just dodging, just dodging, just dodging, just dodging. We're doing okay. All right, this is taking forever. Here we go. Okay, we paralyzed him. Okay, he is in Berserker State. Oh, that's different. Oh, they're going different directions now. Okay. Come on, you're like a quarter HP. We haven't gotten hit by him once. Okay. Oh, almost got hit there. It's like he takes uh, less damage once, um... Like, he's super far away. I'm trying to get him to come... Ooh, got hit there. I'm trying to get him to come back into the ring. Okay. Boom! Holy crap! Holy crap! We did it! Obtain your first Noki badge! Conquer Midgard in Expert Mode! Conquer Midgard in Expert Mode, baby! Holy smokes, dude! Conquer Midgard in Expert Mode! Ragnar's Sword, Conquer Midgard in Expert Mode or higher! Conquer Expert Mode in any realm! Nightmare! 
conquer expert in any realm holy smokes we flippin did it dude lightning is so good thunder codex almost and we didn't have anything ascended and it did 622 damage that's insane 622 dps i should say okay so that was uh the uh glacier codex not bad not bad at all let's jump over here we got a bunch of uh bunch of leaves 13 okay all right that was insane um i think we're gonna try and increase um we could increase damage for the last time and that'll leave us with three um rerolls we could do duration we could do more gold we could do i mean maybe drop chance for boxes Ooh, xp attraction for sure for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Um, make sure you guys tap the like button down below if you guys did. Also, if you guys are in the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can continue on with the uh, next run. We'll get, uh, maybe we'll run um, Helga or Thyra and try and get expert mode completed on one of them two. Although I would love to try and run Poison Bomb on Thyra on expert mode. That's just totally not going to happen. So we might run another bow run on Thyra there. And uh, yeah. We'll need to try X door as well. But once again, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!